Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys are gonna be hanging out with me as I get ready to head to a wedding that I'm already two hours late for. So we're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys wanna hang out with me as I get ready and create this look right here, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my hair real quick off camera. This is so cute. Um, and I'll be right back so we can do our face makeup together. Okay, so I'm looking really funny right now with this hairdo. The hair is not done, but um, I just curled it and let it be. I didn't brush it out yet because I wanna do my makeup first and then finish off my hair. That way the curls just uh, stay in longer. So we're gonna start with the face. I don't really know what kind of look I'm gonna do, but let's just go through this together. I am wearing this uh, suede navy blue dress. Dress. So we're gonna do something that goes with the dress. It's 5 28 p.m. The wedding starts at 6 so <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be late. So I'm gonna start with my eyes first. I always like to do that. So I'm just going to be priming my eyes using the MAC paint pot. So I'm gonna first grab the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Francation palette and we're gonna play around with some of these colors. I'm first gonna grab this shade right here and start Applying that in the crease area. So this shade is going all the way in my inner corner to my outer corner of my crease. I'm going in circular motion and then wiper Wipe her windshield. <laughs> Wipe her windshield? I don't know if that is the actual term for it, but you know what I mean. Circular motion and then back and forth till it's all blended out and smooth. Don't be a pussy and come at me with commitment shit. You know I All right, so now once we have bronzed up the eyes with this shade, I'm going into the Carly Bible palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I kind of want to grab Jode, which is this color right here. And I'm going to put that shade on my lid area, mainly in the inner corner and on the center of my lid. I'm going to go back into the Francation palette and I'm going to grab this brown shade right here. And I'm just going to be putting that on the outer corner of my eye and then blending this line out, but mainly focusing it on the outer corner of my eyes. Whatever is left over, I'll go ahead and diffuse the line wherever I place the blue shadow. I'm gonna switch the brushes to that bigger blending brush where we applied the first shade on and just blend that out further. I like to fight a little dirty, baby. Going back and forth, making sure that dark brown shade is mainly concentrated in the outer area, and then back with the bigger blending brush and then just diffusing it further. I'm then gonna go back into the Francation palette and grab this blue shade right here. And I'm actually gonna be using that as an eyeliner. So I'm just going to be dipping it into an angled brush like this. And we're gonna start drawing it out just as if you were going to put a black liner there, but we're using this blue shadow as our eyeliner. You could even spray your brush with some Fix Plus and dip into that shadow, that way it's a little bit more pigmented I'm just gonna be switching brushes because I hate when my brushes end up flaring out like this it does not make the eyeliner application any easier so I'm grabbing something a little bit more thinner So once we have that eyeliner in place, I'm just gonna go back with that Jode color that we applied on our lid and then just add it back on because with that blending, a little bit of it had faded out. Never go back, we'll never go back. And 
then back in with a small blending brush. I'm not putting anything on in this brush. This is just the browns that were left over. I'm just going to be blending that out a little bit more. So just to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm going to go into Bowie. Uh, this shade right here, <laughs> when I first used this palette, I'm like, boy, but it's actually pronounced Bowie. So I'm going to go into that shade right here and just put that on the outer corner of my eyes just to deepen up this area a little bit more. And then once again with the transition shade that we first use on our eyes, I'm just grabbing a big fluffy brush and blending it all the way up to my brow bone. You probably are gonna have to go back to your eyeliner. Um, you could have done Bowie first before you drew your eyeliner, but I didn't know that I wanted it that dark. So I'm just gonna go back once I'm done blending and go over the blue line once again. Okay, so now we either keep it like this or I kind of wanna add some glitter liner. So I think I'm gonna do that. We'll see how it goes. I'm grabbing the Glitter Goals Liner by NYX in Diamond Dust and I'm just gonna go draw a thin line right underneath that blue liner. If you guys feel like that blue liner is not thick enough, just go back in there and just thicken it up. I definitely want the blue to show and the glitter had covered most of it. So I'm just gonna thicken that liner. This is definitely not the best glitter liner out there, but if you guys are on a budget, and you need a drugstore liner, it's not so bad, but you're just gonna have to work a little bit harder. So I'm just grabbing some makeup wipes and just sharpening up that liner. Okay, so I've went ahead and applied some mascara on and some lashes. I made sure that the lashes are not so dramatic because when you have like details in your look that you wanna show in your eye look, um, it kind of defeats the purpose of all those cute little details. If you put like a thick dramatic lash on, it just covers everything up. So I just put some soft lashes on, that way we can still see everything that we have going on. So moving on to skin, we're gonna go ahead and grab the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. I love this because it is moisturizing and it's a primer at the same time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my face without getting to my hair. Hopefully. So for special occasions, I always like to double prime. So I'm gonna be grabbing the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is a much thicker primer. So almost like a thick lotion. So I'm just gonna be grabbing that and then applying that on my cheeks or anywhere I need a little bit more smoothing. So we're gonna go a little bit heavy with the coverage today. For foundation, I'm grabbing the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation. Um, this is in the shade NC25. So I'm just gonna be spreading that foundation with like a fluffy brush like this. This looks very funny right now. I'm just spreading it on my entire face and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and just buff everything in. Make sure you guys are covering your ears if the foundation does not match exactly. Taking it down your neck. I'm then gonna go into concealer. I'm just gonna be grabbing my Jeffree Star Concealer in C7 Magic Star. It seems like everybody's looking for eternal bliss. 
I'm gonna take it up to here. I don't want any darkness right here. So I'm just gonna drag the concealer up there. Make sure that area is nice and bright. These hits are a work of art. And if you don't see that, death do us part. Now I ain't even gonna flex because I am the best. No Becky in distress, I'm a dragon in a dress. I don't get no rest. Every day I'm blessed. Work on my finesse. Tiffany on my neck. It's a boo thing, not a new thing. You better get it right if you're talking to me. Must have had a mind smart enough to choose me. Your boy say it's fine, you're supposed to use me. You don't wanna fuck around hard enough to lose me. So whenever I'm around, would you please salute me? I'm just going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my under eye. I am going to be cream contouring a little bit, so I want to make sure that I'm just setting my under eye, not really taking it all over my face before I cream contour. So we're just gonna be applying the powder underneath the eyes. And then I'm just gonna be grabbing the Pure Cameo Contour to do a little bit of a contour. Okay, now that we're done with the cream contour, I'm gonna go back in with the powder and I'm just gonna be sharpening up this area right here. While that's setting, I'm gonna go back in and finish up the eyes. So I'm gonna grab the same angled liner brush that we used to draw out the liner at the top. I'm grabbing that same shadow. I'm then gonna go in with a small, small blending brush. Something like this to blend out the lower lash line. Just let me make sure there's no random shadow color in there. And then I'm gonna grab Jode, that same color that we applied on our lid, and just blend that line out. I'm then gonna go into this transition shade right here and with a small blending brush, I'm just carefully adding a little bit of that brown right underneath everything, just so it could match with what I have going on at the top. This will just bring everything together. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit more bronzing. So I'm just grabbing my Hoola bronzer and just bronzing up my face. So I applied some mascara and my mascara, obviously, my lashes got transferred over to my lower lid. So just let that dry for a little bit. And then with a little Q-tip, you can just take it off easily. If you try to do it as it's wet, it's just gonna smudge everywhere. So just be patient. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes before I just take it up with my Q-tip. Okay, this hair is getting more and more ridiculous, but we're almost done. So I did my eyebrows, contoured my nose, and we're gonna go ahead and put on some blush. I'm grabbing the Milani Luminoso blush, with a brush blush, with a brush blush, with a, with a blush brush, with a blush brush, yep, with a blush brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my cheeks. I'm gonna grab some highlight. I'm grabbing the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight. I'm gonna be putting that on the inner corner of my eyes as a highlight, and then down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna grab a little bit of it and then just put it on my forehead a little bit, just for a little highlight. I'm not gonna really put any on my cheeks. All right guys, so I kind of wanna put just one little rhinestone in the inner corner. Let me see how it looks before I stick it on. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. 
So I'm gonna be grabbing some lash glue and just dot it in the inner corner. One right there. Have you guys tried rhinestones in your makeup looks? I just think they look so freaking cute. Okay, so we're gonna grab a tiny little rhinestone. I wish I had something tinier to be honest, but this will do. Okay, I think that looks cute. Just a little something. If you guys do have one a little smaller, I'd probably do a little smaller one, but that's okay. I hope this trend doesn't go away because I really like the rhinestones in my makeup looks. I'm grabbing Strip Down by MAC and just lining my lips. I'm gonna grab my Anastasia lip palette and then just mix some colors together um, using some of these. It's probably gonna be a nude color to be honest. So let's see what I come up with. So what I did for my lips is I got the Clinique Subtle Lip Color Foundation. And then I just mixed this shade right here and added it on top of my lips and this is the lip combo that we have. All right, so let's get these hair clips out of the way and get this hair in place. So I just curled it earlier and I'm just gonna be brushing it. I didn't even brush them out. So I'm just gonna be brushing them out with my fingers. I haven't curled my hair in such a long time. I've been wearing it natural so much. Like my hair is naturally curly. So I've just been wearing it either just with some serum or doing like a wet look with my curls. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of serum. This is the Argan Oil Serum, just a little bit. So it smooths everything out just about this much. Hey. I forgot one more thing. One more thing that I always do when there's a special occasion is highlight like all of this. All right guys, so this is the completed look right here. I'm gonna get going because I am already so late. It's 7.30 and I am already an hour and a half late two hours late by the time I get there. I ended up taking the rhinestones in the inner corner. I wasn't feeling it after all. I think I needed something a little bit smaller. So I just replaced it with some bright white shadow. This is the Armed and Gorgeous palette by Jaclyn Hill and Morphe. So I just grabbed this shade right here. And this is the completed look. Threw some earrings on and we're done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as I got ready. If you guys are new here, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification button right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.